All right, guys. I was really not planning on shooting this video. I was super tired from today's busyness and I felt like I just wanted to chill and relax. But as I was in the gym, I listened to a podcast about imposter syndrome and I felt so inspired all of a sudden to want to talk about this topic. And I believe that inspired action is my favorite type of action. It doesn't happen a lot. It doesn't happen often. But when it does, I really like to engage with it because I think it's such raw and interesting energy to to cultivate. So I had the idea to record a video about imposter syndrome. And like I said, I wasn't planning to because I actually have company from a a wonderful person here with me but she was so nice to agree on being part of the background noise today and i very much appreciate her for that but to tie it back into the topic of today's video is that i don't know if you're familiar with this term but imposter syndrome is basically when you feel like you are not in the right place and you feel like your credentials are insufficient for the role that you're occupying so you are afraid that people might find out that you're actually not in the right place that you don't have the expertise and the experience to be able to sustain your position that you will not be able to perform correctly in your job and i personally struggled with this tremendously in my in my life in many different stages I did an internship at an energy company in Portugal, in Lisbon. I worked for an online marketing company where I was responsible for an affiliate project. And every time I had to start doing the work, I was new there. I felt like I have no clue what I should do. And people will find out that I have no clue what I should do. I am an engineer by degree. And so I thought of myself that I was supposed to know exactly what I had to do in the job, in the engineering position. But of course, once when you start out, you know nothing, you know shit. So you should be able to allow yourself to cut some slack because everybody feels this way at some point in their lives. Everybody feels like they are unable to perform accordingly to the bars they set for themselves especially when you start out a new job you know nothing and it's scary to know nothing and it's even more scary to feel afraid to be found out so to to actually realize that people actually know or see that you know nothing but then again it's totally fine to know nothing because they too were starting out at some point and they too didn't know anything and they too felt the same way They too felt like they didn't know what they were doing and they were afraid that people would judge them for that. But you got to start somewhere, right? And if you build the courage to improve your skills and to humble yourself, to find yourself back in the shoes of a beginner as as a student, right? Because once you start a new job, you're basically a student again, even though you might have studied for many years as a doctor or as a psychologist or whatever you studied for. Still, when you're actually entering the workplace and you need to apply things in, in a practical manner, you need to perform tasks and you need to learn how the company is evolving and the different rules and the different people who are working there you you have to get to know everything and everyone and it's a learning curve and you're basically a student who's starting from scratch again and that's totally fine everybody's doing that even more experienced people who switch jobs they sometimes still suffer from imposter syndrome because they believe that they are not capable of performing the way they should be performing and it's this pressure that we put on ourselves because we believe that we should be perfect we shouldn't be perfect like i when i started and of course i can say this now because i have had the experience and i realize and probably when i start something new like this for example i still kind of feel like an imposter sometimes i'm like what the fuck am i doing am i even providing value for people yes or no Right, but I want to share a little bit about my story with with imposter syndrome in my previous working experiences. Like when I started with the internship in Portugal, I felt like, well, they know that I study engineering, that I have a degree, so I 
should know the answer to all their questions and I should be an authority figure here because I am the engineer, right? But that was not at all the case. These people, they understand, okay, he's new here. He has to get to know the company. And as I was coming day after day to perform the work I needed to do, I slowly became better at it. And at some point I realized that, okay, actually it's fine to start from zero and to learn and acquire the skills that are necessary to perform the task the way it should be performed, right? And I realized that nobody's judging me for that. Of course not. It's a learning process and you can take this mindset and apply it to your own life, right? In the second thing, the second job, it was an affiliate um, an affiliate website. And I, when I started out, I was like, I actually don't know what the fuck am I doing? Like, I, I feel like I'm completely just dabbling around, writing content, doing stuff. I wasn't even, I didn't even know if it would work. And I felt so weird about that because I was like, well, I am getting paid for this. I'm getting paid for dabbling around, for not knowing what the fuck I need to do. I, it was so confusing and I felt even like guilty sometimes because I was confused about whether I deserved to be paid for this, you know, this beginner stage where I knew nothing. But I managed to build this project from maybe 100 unique visitors a month to over 40,000 unique visitors a month. And I 100x the revenue at some point. And that is significant results. And even then, I felt like an imposter sometimes. I was like, hmm, people are going to find out that I actually know, like, don't know what I'm doing. They have no clue what I'm doing here. And then I started to realize, but hey, wait a second. The results are there. I had I had gone through the learning curve. I learned to acquire the skills necessary to actually turn this project into a success. So I can trust the fact that, yes, I might feel sometimes like I am still not able to perform correctly. Or yes, sometimes I still feel like I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. But the results are there. And when I realized this, I slowly started to let go of feeling like I was not good enough or feeling like I was afraid to be found out because nobody cares actually about whether you are a true authority in, in, in certain areas, right? Of course, when you're a doctor and you need to perform heart surgery, then it's very important that you know your shit. But you also have to go through the learning curve to become a professional surgeon. The, these people also make mistakes. They have to practice. You cannot become good at something if you're unwilling to fail. You have to want to fail. You have to want to humble yourself to start from scratch and to learn everything necessary to become successful, right? So I made this project into a success. And eventually it started to dawn on me that, okay, I started out knowing nothing. Then I was dabbling around and learning new things. And eventually I figured out the things that work and I turned this thing into something worthwhile. And you are able to do exactly that. If you find yourself in a new job, you just started out or you lost your job and you're starting a new project or you, whatever, you, you just decided to embark on a creative journey like I did. You will suffer from imposter syndrome. You will feel like you're not in place. You will feel doubts and fears and you will feel as if people will judge you for your ignorance. That's totally okay. Everybody feels like this. This is something that I came to realize and it's so such a powerful realization. If I feel like this, sometimes at some point in my life, there is a very high probability that many other people do the same because we're all humans and we all go through these experiences. And so if you find yourself being afraid of being found out or of being judged for your ignorance, allow it to be there and know that if you commit to learning and if you want to, if you, if you commit to humbling yourself and starting from level zero as a student, and you're committed to learning, then eventually you will become successful. There, It's almost inevitable. Unless you do the same thing over and over and it doesn't yield results. That is the definition of insanity. But if you commit to learning and improving, then it's inevitable that at some point you will reach the point where you are actually an expert. You will reach the point where you are an expert. And even then, there are experts that I saw interviews with who did 
TED Talks for millions of, like, with millions of views and like thousands of people, they spoke in public about their their journey, about their job. They they are experts, and they still sometimes feel like an imposter. They still sometimes feel like, oh no, what if people find out that I actually don't know what I'm talking about? You know, but they they are the top of the top, and even these these people they they doubt themselves sometimes. So it's totally normal. And it's totally fine to do that, but you want to just continue to improve yourself and at some point you will find yourself being an expert and then be proud of that i am proud of the progress i made i am proud of the things that i accomplished in my life you can be proud of that too and you will be if you allow yourself to start from zero as a student and build up your expertise skills and experiences and people will appreciate that in you and they will celebrate it at some point people will be like wow you 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 learn so much and you started from a beginner and now you're so competent and sometimes even then you might feel like an imposter but know that you came such a long way and you learned so many things and that is incredibly inspiring for others and that is something to be very proud of so this was my inspired flow to talk about imposter syndrome i hope you enjoyed the thoughts that I presented here. I hope they can make you think and I hope they can make you feel a little, a little bit more secure in yourself. And I can help you feel like you can actually achieve the things that you want to achieve. And I can give you hope. And that's ultimately what I'm here to do. So I want to thank you for being here. I want to thank you for paying attention and joining me along for the journey. And as always, thanks for watching, guys. See you tomorrow.